हेलो 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 फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू माय अमेजिंग सब प्यारा सो चैनल फिजिक्स यूनिवर्स आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन एट योर होम एंड वी आर एंजॉइंग दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स टुडे इज द टॉपिक फ्रॉम आईसीएसई स्टैंडर्ड नाइन चैप्टर थ्री सीजीएस एंड एसआई यूनिट्स ऑफ फोर्स नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू स्टडी दिस टॉपिक I have to write force formula. Force formula is nothing but force is equal to mass is equal to mass into acceleration. Simple. Clear? Okay. Now, uh, if I want to write first in SI basis, unit of force in SI basis that uh, is SI is one newton force. Now how? So I can. uh tell the definition as well that uh, if on an object if there is it is the mass of 1 kg so m will be 1 kg and if that object have acceleration is equal to 1 meter second to inverse then we can tell that the force on that object is exerted is 1 newton so One newton is equal to one kg into one meter second to inverse. So, SI in SI the unit is a force of unit is one newton. Okay. Now we are talking about CGS. So, definition: if on an if uh, an object is of mass is one uh, gram. its acceleration is 1 cm second to inverse then the force is said to be that 1 uh, dyne is equal to 1 g into 1 cm second to inverse so that's the unit of cgs in cgs okay now uh, we are converting the uh, si units in the form of cgs so we know that in si 1 kg meter second to inverse is equal to now i am converting 1 kg into 1000 g and 1 meter into 100 cm second to inverse okay it is 10 is to 5 g cm second to inverse so this is newton's unit and this is dyne's unit so 1 newton is equal to 10 is to 5 dyne clear so that's all for today guys that's a cgs and si units of force thank you guys for listening my video lectures till the end that means a lot to me thank you very much